Hi guys, it's me Jennifer. So, I have got a haul. I went to Tuesday morning. It's like my second time I've gone there. And I went there because I watched, let's see if I can find her. Ah, she just posted, she just replied to my post. Kimbo Creations, is that her name? She lives near Wynwood. Washington. Yeah, I'm gonna go to my history. And my mirror thing isn't popping up. Usually every time I open up the computer. Yeah, Kimbo Creations. Anyway, she was doing a Tuesday morning Hobby Lobby Dollar Tree haul. And um I saw her haul on Tuesday morning and I was thinking of going there. So I went. Uh, and I got some stuff. I had the husband with me. So he was like with me the whole time. And I kept thinking, there's a whole store here. Um, but he stayed with me the majority of the time. And so it's like, I really wanted to go slow. There's like so much stuff. Before I start that, let me show you what I made. I made. I got crafty this morning. <laughs> I got crafty this morning. I made these little corners. I think I might have done them wrong, but for me, it's good. Just a little corner that you'd stick on like a junk journal. I was following, let's see, Yvonne Preston had had a video on, and so I was following along with her, and hers look, I don't know, my hers look different than mine. Huh, I don't remember it looking so different. She's got like the corner cut off. Did I miss something? Huh. Anyway, tried to follow along with her. <laughs> that was. And so I made I made these. For like a junk journal. And I had everything she did. Um, set different butterflies and different eyelash. I don't know what to trim. And she, hers was tea dyed and stuff, but I, I didn't tea dye anything but the paper. And this paper I had actually it's coffee dyed. Um, and everything else I just used uh, uh, antique photo. What's it called? Find it. Ah, this stuff. Vintage photo. So I just used that in the bed of the room. So let me show them the bed. Oh. Anyway, I thought that was cute. I'll have to watch some more of her videos. I didn't even watch the whole video because she made something else. Maybe that's what she's showing. Eh, I don't know. Maybe that's what she's showing. That's why it doesn't look the same. Anyway, so I, I made those. And... Then we went to Tuesday morning. He followed, he came with me. So I found some Maggie Home stuff. Now normally, I like all the cutesy stuff, but a lot of the times I like stuff like I was just showing you, like the grungy or steampunky kind of kind of stuff like that. Not really much the cutesy, even though I like the cutesy stuff, like like this. I think this is really cute. I just love this. It's one of my favorite things. I love. I keep that right by me all the time. So I found some flowers, and I'm just pulling stuff out of my bag, and this was down in Olympia, and there's like so much stuff I really wanted just to look around. Uh, my mind's eye, some more ephemera pieces, because I don't have a whole bunch. I thought I'd pick up some more. Um, this is from Found Rosie, but a lost and found, okay. So this is lost and found, some heirloom, some antique, originally six bucks, so that's why I don't buy a thing there, because it's so expensive. And Union Square, so that looked interesting. So I got those for $1.99, found some bull bunny stuff I thought was cute, because of the um, butterflies mostly. 
Anyway, I picked up that. I'm going to have to end up throwing this stuff on the floor or something. Okay, what else? I found, yeah, like Maggie Holmes. I found this. this Willow Lane. It's still kind of spendy, though. For paper, I thought. I thought that's some of it's been sewn on, so I don't know what you get. Just journaling ephemera. Hmm. So, I don't know. I just picked it up. Uh, this is Jen Hadfield. Now, I've never heard of this person before, but um, Kimbo, or Kim, I don't know what she goes by, Kim, she really liked her stuff, so she um, was showing her stuff, so I thought, you know what, I think I'll, I've seen it, so I bought it, and <laughs> I saw her, she was showing these too, um, this is Willow Lane too, I was like, really? But yeah, I bought some too, I don't, cutesy, huh? Oh, I don't know what to do with it. It looks like it's like stickers. Yeah, so I guess I'll stick it on something. And a lot of few things I can't show because I thought they'd make cute little Christmas gifts. Oh, this is what my husband found. So I'll have to give that to him. That's the only thing he found in the whole store. And I wanted to go back. They had some boxes, you know, the decorative boxes that usually I usually see at Michael's. They had a whole bunch of them. I really wanted to buy some. I was going to go back and get one, but I totally forgot. Anyway, and there was a whole bunch of napkins, but they have tiny, tiny aisles. And um, there was so many people going one way and the other. So I was like, oh, let me get out of here. It's just like, you can't deal with people. So I did pick up a few napkins. I did really want to look at and see what kind of napkins they had. Because, um... Here in my town, I can't find any cute napkins. I went to Dollar Tree. We have a Dollar Tree here, and a few years ago, I'm not sure how many years ago, at least four, they had some cute ones. Um, and then they stopped now. Everything is just like like a solid colors. And same with Walmart. It's like, ah, you know, just for parties. It's like nothing cute, nothing cute for like a dinner and stuff. I might have one more. I'm not sure. I'm just picking stuff up. So I found Jen Hadfield again. And I like the little bicycles. And I like the uh, flamingos. I have another flamingo one right here. It's kind of more transparent. But there are on there. The little pink ones. Things. And um, oh, I just thought that was cute. So I got it. Oh, where am I put this off? Okay. So, a couple things I can't show. Alright, so. I did find Wild Heart. Oh, Maggie Holmes. 6x8 paper. I like the sunglasses. That rose gold was cute. And I'm sure everybody's seen this a million times because... Because I usually don't watch the channels. Well, I just, I'm subscribed to them, but I usually don't watch a lot of haul videos. Um, I've watched some. Anyway, I decided to watch Kim. And I'll link her channel down below. So, if you like haul videos, she does a ton. But I, tr I actually... That was like... That one just came on after because she did do like a flip card. Um... And so actually that's why I was watching it. And it's pretty cute. I think I might try and make one. Let's see. I did find some more Wild Heart ephemera pieces. So it's like, okay. So I have... Cute. And I found some... So I did Little Birdie flowers. Now they had some Primo ones too. But I like these kind of colors. So I got those. Ugh, what else? I did find the Spellbinders. Um, palm tree. Looks like it makes a palm tree with a couple different dies. Spellbinder dies. And they're little. 
I really I need to get my spellbinder thing out and make some. And I found these. These were cute. These little pom poms that are already set. So all you have to do is string them into something. But that was cute. And then bulge it there. And some more flowers. Same company, little birdie. It's got like gold around the trim. Cute. And then I found this stamps, cling stamps. And I mostly wanted it for this one here. That was cute. Oh, and this one. Nice. I can do that now. <laughs> Make those little postcard things. Yes. Well, good find, Jennifer. It's still, I think, $6.99 is still spendy, though. It was 15 bucks, but st I don't know, still spendy. Not as cheap as hoping. And let's see. Some more Jen Hadfield little ephemera pieces, dimensional stickers. Because I like making these. I mean, I like using these. I want to make them because it's obviously it's simple enough. I've watched a ton of videos on people making these, but I just haven't done it. So, And I did find, I wanted to find more, but you know, I was kind of spent. My cart was getting... Not full, but it was getting there, and then I've seen some of the delusion stuff, the illusions. And so I thought I'd pick that up. I'm not into, see, I want mostly the words. And yeah. So she, now she uses this, her style is really similar to Tisha Moore. Tisha Moore is from Washington, too. She lives here, I believe. Somewhere up more north, I think. Some washi tapes. Anyway, she's kind of got the same kind of style. With the eyes and the... Anyway, I love her paints, too. Which I don't have. And so I saw that, and then I also saw this. I was like, ooh. I just seen that recently. In a video, like, you know, it's probably an older video. Oh, okay, so they are they're already stamped. I was thinking she had stamped them when she was shown, but they're already done. Okay, and it's like a daily diary. Um, maybe an art journal. I guess. I have some of her stamps. Ooh. Okay. So she's got well one empty page. So anyway, I thought that was cute. Chipboard cover, 56 double sided pages. I'll have to watch some videos. I mean I watched the first one. Well, where she was showing it. I don't even know how old it was. But if it's on Tuesday morning, it must have been a while ago. And then I found some cute pens. Oh. Steadfast Love. New Mercy. New Mercies. Creative Devotion. Oh. Dollar ninety-nine American Crafts. Okay. Right? Ooh, what's this? Um, and don't think I can't show. And I did pick this up. <laughs> I'm hoping. Hoping it's just not cards and paper. I just kind of grabbed it. It says travelers. Pocket travelers. Rainbow pocket travelers. Uh, rainbow, huh? Yikes. Not really into... Rainbows. I mean, I like rainbows, but for a different reason. What everybody else is using rainbows for. Let's see. Oh, okay. What well, is little? Okay. Ugh. I guess I should have. Well, they were all some extra pages anyway. 
a little bit cutesy. And she has some other, oh, there is other stuff. And it's kind of thick and look well made. I like the size. I could use this size to make more. This is just plain paper. And thin. But I could use this size for. And there's four bands. Hmm. Extra pages. I think I just bought it because it's extra pages. Didn't really see that it said Rangers. Anyway, I'll put this back in the box. Ugh. Get in there. Oh my goodness, it's stuffed. some more of these. Now I have some of these that I bought from Walmart and they were colored and I've been filling them up with ephemera but I thought I might need some more and I know you can find one at a time something similar at the Dollar Tree and Walmart. This is six bucks for six of them so a dollar dollar a piece. Makes sense why Dollar Tree was selling for a dollar a piece. Okay, last thing that I got from Tuesday morning. I had to have it. But the uh, sidekick. Sizzix sidekick. It's cute. It was uh, 25 bucks. And that's why I bought that little tiny die. But I have other dies that are small. And sometimes you just don't feel, even though the cuddle bug isn't that big, it's still kind of a hassle. So this might be cuter to have on the desk for the smaller things. And then maybe I'll use it more because it's all right here. Anyway. Yeah. So that's it. We did. Where else did we go? So we can't, and we stopped at, at, oh yeah, where was that? We stopped at a pawn shop, because we did go to the music store, because my husband does sound, so he was looking at different sound equipment, different things, and I looked at their microphones and stuff, but um, I knew because of the brand Shure, um, they were going to be way too spendy for me. So we just walked around, and he looked at what he wanted to look at, and then, so we left left there and we stopped at a pawn shop that was nearby and I was just going to hang out in the car and look at Facebook and stuff and he comes back with a picture of um let me grab it it's I didn't bring it over here it's over where are you oh. Ew. let me see where are you part of you. Oh, there you are. <sighs> Believe it or not, the room is getting cleaner. <laughs> it's still got stuff on the floor, but anyway. So they had two of these for it's a, um, blue snowball ice. It's a microphone. So I thought I could test it out and use it for uh, voiceovers. Maybe. Hopefully. I, I mean, I have a headset and I know how to work that. But I'd have to figure out if I just turn the sound off on the camera. And use this because this is just a USB thing and this plugs into the computer and on the program it would separate so you'd have the audio and then the video because right now it's all together I don't have to mess with the audio and sync it up or anything so I'll have to um that's only 30 bucks so I know they're not really expensive but at least half 
And, uh, oh, what did I do? I got it dirty. What did I, what did I put it on? Oh, goodness, I don't even know. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. It's the floor of my car. <laughs> my car needs to be vacuumed. So anyway, I thought, yeah, that's cool. What else did I get? Okay, so I got a few things I can't show you. What else did I get? Okay, so after we were done there, then we were heading home. And we saw garage sale for kitten rescue. So we stopped there. And these were like handmade little doily type things. I don't know what you call them. I thought they were really cute. So I got those. I found this old, what does it say? Vol, Volrath, oh, I can't even read. You know what, scripture kind of reading. It's in the different language. Right? Looks German. Anna Tillen Tilson Johnson. Anyway, I saw that. Ooh. I didn't know it was in German. David and Goliath. So some Bible stories in there, Jacob, Joseph, Abraham, cool. I don't read German, but you can, you know, English is a mixture of different languages, so you can, interesting, huh, I think it's more than Bible stories, there's something else in here. That is pretty cool. I wonder how old it is. 1918. Eh? Hey, I got it. And it was, it was a dollar, but it was half off, so it was only 50 cents. So there's that. Found one golden book. <laughs> Hutchback of the Notre Dame. So I got that for. I, I, I might have got more stuff more than 50% off because, um, I was like counting it up and I was thinking, shoot, I didn't have a whole bunch of cash. Um, so I was asking my husband if he had any bills and it only came to $1.78. So <laughs> I was like, a score. Might've been there last day because it was getting ready to rain. Well, I did find some stickers. I think that 50 cents was a little bit too much, but I probably obviously didn't get it for 50 cents. So yeah, found that. Um, there's some people that make, uh, uh, not ATC cards, but, you know, similar, similar journaling cards. And I found some cards that are smaller than our normal, um, deck cards that we normally buy. So I thought, well, that's cute. Maybe that's the size England. And this one hasn't been opened yet. So that was just cool. This one's been opened. And then most of them were um, the are the normal size kind of cards anyway. Thought that was cute. And then I found this. I'm my guess it's a a Bible. It's in Korean, right? Not Korean. It looks Korean. I'm thinking it's Korean. I'm thinking it's a Bible, but I could be wrong. Don Quixote. That's interesting. So maybe it's a book. It's not a Bible. Maybe it's a book of Don Quixote. But I thought, you know what? I could use that. And it's kind of old. Kind of yellowed. Ooh, it's like a nice paper or something. A stamp. Hmm. So do they start back here too? I'm thinking they do. So this is a book. 
Okay. We got a picture of Don Quixote. Now, that was a real person, huh? Oh, I thought it was a real person. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Anyway, I never find French writing, but I found, obviously, I found some German, and I have some Japanese, and now this one looks um, I don't know. Is it Korean? Kind of looks Chinese, too. See, that looks... But that doesn't look... Volume 5, okay. It's got a plastic wrap on it. Is that Chinese? I don't know. Yeah, I guess it is. Yes, there's not one piece of this is in English. Oh, I take that back. <laughs> Excuse me, this is written in English. <laughs> and that's what I got. Then we came home, sat down for a minute, talked to the kids. Adult kids. I hope you like. Wow. Now I've got to find a place to put all this stuff. i to test this thing out, see if it works. All right, guys. <laughs> I'll let you go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Talk to you later.